Welcome back to our channel. Today I'm going to explain a very interesting movie. Get comfortable. Cayman, a large man with a spiked lizard-like head and red crosses tattooed on his eyes, pushes the head of a sorcerer, Matsumura, into his mouth. A man slides up Cayman's throat, also with red crosses tattooed on his eyelids, and tells Matsumura you're not the one. Matsumura's partner, Fujita, escapes the grasp of Kamen's friend Nikaido to try and save him, only to find Kamen is unaffected by his magic before Nikaido breaks his finger. Hearing what the man in his throat said from Matsumura, Kamen instantly slices him into multiple pieces. The dying Matsumura's severed hand summons a door under Fujita, allowing him to escape. Kamen and Nikaido head back home, with Kamen stopping to look down the alleyway where he was found. Two years previously, Kamen was found unconscious in the alley by Nikaido, his memory blank and his head reptilian. Since he can dispel the sorcerer's magic by killing the caster, Kamen has been shoving the sorcerer's heads into his mouth since, hoping that the man inside his mouth will identify the culprit. Spending most days working at a hospital for magic victims or eating at Nikaido's restaurant, The Hungry Bug, Kamen returns one day to find a rookie sorcerer transforming Nikaido into an insect. Kamen quickly kills the sorcerer, which turns Nikaido back to normal. The next day, Nikaido and Kamen take a picture of the inside of Kamen's mouth, unsuccessfully trying to get a clue to the head's identity. Spotting a female sorcerer, Ebisu, emerging from a magic door, Kamen grabs her and shoves her into his mouth. Fujita suddenly emerges through another door and grabs Ebisu, pulling her from Kamen's jaws and back to the sorcerer's world, accidentally tearing her face off in the process. That night, Kamen has a nightmare about the person inside his mouth. Elsewhere, a pair of sorcerer cleaners named Shin and Noi murder a group of gangsters with red crosses tattooed on their eyelids. Shin and Noe are called in for a meeting with their boss, a highly reputable sorcerer named En. En also summons Fujita and Ebisu, and asks Noe to heal Ebisu's face to find out what she knows. While Ebisu's physical wounds are easily healed, the mental distress has placed her in a dissociative fugue, leaving her with no memory and reduced mental and magical skills. En requests the group find and kill Kamen and Nikaido. The group is suddenly attacked by assassins, whom Men easily dispatches by turning them into mushrooms with his magic. Cayman's boss, Vox, tells him to toss a trash bag in the incinerator, inside which Cayman finds a dismembered person who cannot die. The murdered man was disassembled and tortured with Shin's magic before being thrown into hole, with Shin's magic preventing his separated pieces from dying. Cayman tosses him into the incinerator to end his suffering. Later, Kamen and Nikaido head to another town in Hole to visit a magical acupuncturist who might be able to give Kamen his human face back. Nikaido fights off some attackers while out shopping and gains the clue to the acupuncturist's location. The two then head to a bar where the acupuncturist tries to change Kamen's face, but all Kamen does is shed his skin with no visible change. Several Hole residents arm themselves for the Night of the Living Dead. Once per year, the severe magic pollution in Hole causes dead people to rise from the grave as zombies, forcing local priests to bury the dead with metal tokens that can be exchanged for prizes. Kamen, Nikaido, and Vox decide to join the festivities, with Nikaido hoping to buy a new meat grinder with tokens. Shin and Noe head to Hole with Fujita and Ebisu, hoping to find and kill Kamen and Nikaido, but finding themselves in the middle of the zombie invasion. Ebisu is soon bitten by a zombie, turning her feral. Shin and Noi soon find and seriously injure Nikaido and decapitate Kamen. Nikaido uses magic power to create a door and escape with Kamen's body and head, revealing she is a sorcerer. Five days later, Kamen recovers in the hospital by inexplicably regrowing his head. Vox tells Kamen that Nikaido is a sorcerer, but Kamen doesn't believe him. Kamen returns to the hungry bug as Nikaido wonders what he'll think of her past as a sorcerer. Soon after Vox appears with Kamen's severed head in a jar, suggesting they record a dissection of the head. Early into the dissection, the hospital's power suddenly cuts, and the head disappears in the confusion, the only evidence a shadow briefly captured on the camera. The Inn family visits a sorcerer named Turkey, who uses magic to bake temporary clones that can lead people to a target, and hopes it will lead them to the sorcerer who cast magic on Cayman. 
Turkey's clone leads the N family to an abandoned apartment, where they discover a rotting head in a safe. After fighting the angered clone for it, Noi heals the head and discovers it's the same as the clones, a member of the anti-magic cross-eyes gang that opposes N. Later, the N family goes to a formal party at a mansion where N hopes to recruit a potential partner, a sorcerer with the ability to bring people back from the dead. Shin and Noi kill a couple of sorcerers who are using illegal black powder to enhance their powers, and N discovers the true form of his new partner, a small cat-like creature hiding under the supposed necromancer's dress. N kills the false necromancer, adopting the creature and dubbing it Kikurich. Meanwhile, in whole, Kamen and Nikaido go to visit Vox's colleague, another doctor, who might be able to help Kamen find his identity. After entering the doctor's home, the duo finds it to be a labyrinth they can't navigate and decide to have an impromptu New Year's Day meal. In the middle of the meal, they are joined by Kasakabe, the doctor in question, who explains magic dust has started to gather in his house, affecting the architecture. After vacuuming the dust and restoring his house, Kasakabe then shows the duo a magic door made from vivisected sorcerers that allows passage to their world. Disguised as sorcerers, Kamen and Nikaido begin searching for clues. Pausing to eat at a restaurant, Nikaido wanders off and is handed a calling card by a demon, while Kamen suddenly recovers some of his memories, realizing the man in his mouth was a person he knew called Rizu. Concurrently, N uses Kikarich to revive the cross-eyes hit found in the safe, who reveals he is Rizu. N places Rizu's head on a magic-powered mechanical body and interrogates him further, but Rizu provides little information of value. N sends Shin and Noi to follow a lead on a base owned by Cross-Eyes. Initially trying to negotiate with the Cross-Eyes for their boss location, Shin and Noi are attacked but easily retaliate and kill them. Kamen and Nikaido stalk a Cross-Eyes member they spot in the restaurant, only to lose and then find him after Shin and Noi's massacre. The lead's cold besides Rizu's name, Nikaido suggests she and Kamen split up to cover more ground. Working alone, Nikaido sells her powder in a magic smoke pawn shop, killing the owner and stealing back her magic once he pays her. Nikaido then meets with a devil named ASU, who reveals that Rizu is being held by N. She breaks into N's mansion only to encounter Noi, who challenges her to a fight. Nikaido evades Noi, finding her way to Rizu. Trying to abduct him, Nikaido punches in and shatters his mask, enraging him and causing a huge magic outburst that covers everything in mushrooms. Rise, unaffected by Anne's magic due to it powering his prosthetic body, uses the confusion to flee. Nikaido also narrowly escapes but is injured, forcing Kamen to take her to Vox when a huge mushroom sprouts from within her back. Speaking with Vox and Kasakabe, Kamen learns that they know Shin as their former patient. A flashback shows that sorcerers were historically considered outlaws and whole, hunted and killed by human gangs. Shin, unaware his late mother was a sorcerer, accidentally bleeds magic dust at work, causing his boss to inform the local vigilantes. Fleeing, Shin returns home to find his father has been tortured to death by the vigilantes, prompting him to single-handedly murder them with a claw hammer. Shin uses hospital equipment to vivisect his arms and try to surface his magic veins, hoping to increase their power at risk of bleeding to death. He is found by doctors. Vox and Kasakabe reconstruct his arms and surface his veins, fully activating Shin's magic but leaving his arms paralyzed. Following Shin's surgery, Vox and Kasakabe receive a large influx of magic victims, the remaining local vigilantes, whom Shin has dismantled into living pieces using his newly acquired magic, leading to the dissolution of Hole's vigilantes. In the present, Kasakabe insists to Kamen that Nikaido is a sorcerer, noting that they operated on her and that sorcerers have distinct anatomy due to their magic veins. Hearing a scream, Kamen runs to her room and finds she's been abducted from her bed. Pursuing the kidnapper, Kaiman follows them into the sewers at the alley where he first awoke. The kidnapper mistakenly believes that crystallized beads of magic powder in sorcerers are gemstones that can turn him into a sorcerer. Pinned by the kidnapper's giant cockroach, Johnson, Kaiman attacks the kidnapper, cutting off his feet and throwing one of them out to distract Johnson. The kidnapper claims to recognize Kaiman and Nikaido from the day the former appeared, only to die from blood loss. What do you think will be Johnson's next move after attacking the kidnapper? Follow this channel for the next part of this movie.